Welcome, Good Deal Travelers. I'm your host, Good Deal Traveler Jimmy. And I'm Carrie. Today, we're going to talk about Hilton Grand Vacation Timeshare Meeting. Uh, I have done this before at the Alara. We are at the Hilton Grand Vacation on the Las Vegas Strip. This is Carrie's first time doing a timeshare meeting. Yeah. Uh, I've done a couple of these, so I'm gonna walk you guys through uh, how to deal with these, how to try to get out the quickest way you can. Uh, what Hilton does is it costs about $200 uh, to, uh, to first book, but then after you complete the meeting, they will refund that $200 back to your credit card. And in addition to give you a $200 Hilton stay on us, uh, stay a night on us certificate, uh, so in essence, we're actually making money from doing this. All right, we're about to head down in about half hour. I'm gonna walk you guys through some tips on how to avoid uh, stay, spending your whole day there, how to get out of these the quickest way you can. Yeah. So the quickest way to get out of this is you have to pretend you are not interested. Uh, you cannot ask any uh, questions that make you seem like you're interested, like, oh, this is nice. How much does that cost? How much does this cost? Where is that? Uh, can I see more pictures? You cannot say any of those. As soon as you ask any questions, they will take that as a sign of interest and they will push you further. I'm interested to see how pushy um, they might get. I, I heard from Jimmy that people get pretty pushy, the salespeople get pretty pushy during these kind of meetings. And, um, and I guess if did you say something? If you don't get upset, you're probably not going to be able to get out. Yeah, you need some pretty thick skin. They will insult you. Uh, they will say things like, you are stupid for not taking this deal. Do you not like saving money? Do you like spending money? That's kind of dumb of you. They will literally say that to you. The last time I did this at the Alara a couple years ago, yeah, the salespeople were, were quite pushy. You need to have some thick skin. Don't take it personally. They have a job to do. You're, you have a job to do as well. You're trying to save time and spend as much time outside of the meeting in Las Vegas as possible. They do all this fuzzy math. You know, they will, they will ask you, how much do you spend on a vacation? How much do you expect to spend on a vacation? Uh, and then they will show, give you all these fuzzy maths. Whatever number they, you give them, they will spin that around. They'll say, well, look at this. You, with us, you can only spend this much. But what they don't tell you is all the annual fees. That's the number one reason why this is not a good deal to buy uh, because of all the annual fees. You have to pay it whether or not you're staying at these locations at all. And does it change every year? Yes, these prices will keep going up on you. Uh, they, will, they are not locked in for life. What's like some other things you said in the past that helped you to get out of, like, I guess to make them uh, speechless or, <laughs> or, or make it hard for them to sell you? Yeah, what so are some defensive techniques you have? You cannot uh, ask any questions, but another thing that I've done is also I've said, uh, look, I'm only interested in properties in China. Uh, what do you guys have? They have nothing. Hey, look at this map. There are no Hilton Grand vacations in China. Or uh, any other country where they don't have. Right, like, sure. So you can, I think you can look up. There, Hilton obviously has, you know, properties worldwide, but uh, Hilton Grand Vacation doesn't have properties in every country. And for example, China is a mark, big market that they just don't have any right, those right. properties. So look up other countries where you know you're interested to go and uh but you know if, if you say that they're gonna be like oh well <laughs> what do they say when they when you say that uh, they they have an answer to everything these guys they're trained uh, to have a response to everything sometimes they don't even make sense uh, it's like arguing with a robot <laughs> so, sometimes oh. you have to be very very firm though uh, okay. on on whatever you say you have to be very firm that you are not interested not interested not interested I am not interested. I am not interested. <laughs> All right, we'll let you know if that tip works. And I, I've heard that once you do like get you know trapped in a timeshare, it's pretty hard to get out of that too. So yes. the best thing is to not even you know get trapped in that. Right. So everything we're saying is you know to help you avoid that. It's like 
I think it's like a gym membership, you know, it's really easy to join and then it's just really hard to quit. <laughs> think of it as a $20,000 gym membership. <laughs> but, uh, you know, there are websites and there, I'm sure you've heard these on the radio, on the TV, uh, of websites that tell people, uh, hey, this is how you get rid of your timeshare. I will help you do that. So to, to put things in perspective, if there's something to tell you how to get rid of, uh, of a timeshare, that means there's a lot of demand for people trying to get rid of their timeshares. Yeah. So the, the t amount of time that they told us will be between an hour and a half and two hours. Uh, I think Where I've only- Where did they say that? Where did they say that? On, on the phone, they will the tell phone? you that when you book it okay. with them. Uh, they will say an, around an hour and a half to two. Personally, I think even get out in two hours, that's pretty good. Mm -hmm. uh, I've done them that, you know, I've repeatedly told them no for about three hours and they still don't give up. All right, well, we got to head down. Uh, we'll let you guys know how it went yeah. and we'll see you guys soon. So All right. We're back. We just got back. From the timeshare presentation slash meeting. How did you think it went? Overall, this is the fastest and the least amount of pressure uh, for a, a timeshare presentation that I've seen. They're very nice about it. Yes, this, yeah, I they, was, were, they were surprisingly nice. nice, actually. I was mm -hmm. very surprised. Yeah, I, I thought they were very nice. I mean, um, there was one sales rep and then followed up by another person. You know, we spent the most amount of time with the first sales rep and the second person came to show us math, which was a lot of math and fuzzy and math formulas and which i they lost me at like no um, they're like you get two thousand points per uh per year every other year but it somehow adds up to 20 million points at the end of your life and i, I did not want to go through how you got those numbers it was just all, all yeah. fuzzy math they they thought about what options for us and the one they came up was sort of like the the lowest amount of um assuming that we only come back to vegas um, that was the plan yeah. they wanted to draw, draw, draw up for us, and that's the HOA was uh, 146 to 169. Yeah, I don't want to know why or I how don't know why the that, range, that comes the up numbers, with that. You know, but like times a year, let's say it's like that's pretty expensive for every other year that you get points, wasn't worth it. Yeah, anyways, they they tried to sell us, they tried to, they, I think they, they both tried hard but they were very nice about it so that i think yeah. that was not at no point i felt super pressured no you know, no it no was point. it right. was okay yeah this one was pretty good okay uh now i know some of you are looking to to get a timeshare mm -hmm. uh, are looking for this if you really want to go to this uh hawaii especially or, or florida california sure this might be the right thing for you uh, but for us, one of our, our dream destinations is to check out the Gobi Desert. Mm -hmm. uh, and when we said that, the saleswoman was very flustered. She did not even know where it was. She had to look it up on her phone. Uh, she said, nope, there are no Hilton properties at, uh, at this location. And she even said, like, I was hoping you'd tell me something like Hawaii, and then I could go over all the options, but there's nothing in the, in the Gobi Desert. Uh, in fact, there's uh, like we said, there's no Hilton Grand vacations in China. There's Hilton locations in China, lots but there are no Hilton Grand vacations, uh, and that's where you can use all your points. So generally, uh, if you if you feel like one of their destinations uh, like you might work for you, you can look deeper into the uh, program uh, that they offer. I do think that the math, when the when the guy came out with this, the, there was one sheet and he started doing math, yeah. that was extremely, complicated right just writing all these numbers um, and this adds up it to was this. all very like weird and, and, like, and 2000 yeah. adds up to 20 million somehow didn't know how <laughs> that happened you know but they they phrase it in a way that okay if you can't use it you can gift it to someone else or you can like pass it down to your kids like i'm not sure exactly how that would all work but um i think if i think you should only think of it if you want to take the vacation every year for like whatever 10 days or something whatever amount of days and if you feel like that would make sense for you and your family i think that's okay like it's just you wish to pay attention to how they do the math and um the hoa stuff it's fuzzy is is pretty fuzzy i do not know how they come up with the numbers and like jimmy says it's not like set in stone they can always increase it each um, way right but of course yeah so that's 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 i feel like what you should watch out for like 
the fuzzy math. Sure. So in this one, it was a little different where uh, I knew there was going to be, you know, the first person that comes with you, the second person uh, is, from what I've experienced, the second person is usually much harder on you and try to demand answers out of you and uh, even more fuzzy math. And then there's usually a closer who gives you the best deal, you know, but the closer today... There was uh, no closer. He, he, he signed us out. There was someone else who signed us out. The closer uh, just told us, you, you guys can leave, but they, he didn't present any options. But what I've seen before is that the third person uh, is the person that will be like, here is our best deal, uh, hence the closer. And then if you don't take it, then you go out to the, to the, uh, to the desk. So I didn't experience that today. No, you did no, not. I did not experience that. It was fine, right? It wasn't it was so fine. bad. It wasn't. The meeting, Jimmy was hyping it up. I was like mentally preparing myself for being yelled at. <laughs> I was also surprised we did not get yelled at. Well, why would they yell at it you? It was like it was actually a pleasant conversation that we had with the uh, with the sales reps today. Yeah, it was fine. Uh, so I guess it's it's very dependent on sales rep. So maybe we just got a really nice one and. They were yeah. not that pushy, you know. Right. Maybe some other people are a lot more pushy. Yeah, when we um, said Gobi Desert, they really said there's nothing in the Gobi Desert for you guys. Yeah, I think so. Once they realize we're not, um, like we're not the right, uh, right clientele, clientele for them. for for the packages they have to offer, uh, then they didn't push that hard. Right. I never showed any interest either. Um, I really wasn't interested in in this today. You know, like I said, our, our goal is to get out and, and to eat. So we're going to wrap this up. We're going to give it a good deal score. The way that this works is we're going to rate this experience based on price. I use this hand. Price, quality, and vibe. So in terms of price, uh, I this was free, so it's got to be a 10 out of 10. I was able to uh, get a $200 refund onto my card. I paid $200 to stay here for three nights, and then I got a $200 refund onto my credit card after the presentation. Uh, in addition, they also gave us a $200 spend a night on us certificate, and this is valid for any DoubleTree in the U.S. No, but you, I have to... you have to pick a brand. They, there's so you can for the, oh, that's right. for the certificate. There are specific brands. You have to pick one. There was Hampton Inn, there was um, Hilton Garden, Garden Inn, Inn uh, Embassy Suites, Embassy Suites, Homewood Suites. Homewood Suites, and so you had to pick one of those. We picked Double Tree, but um, you could pick anything else that works better yeah, for you. Yeah, I think Double Tree has the best uh, best hotels in the, in the U.S., but we just have to spend it in the next six months. So price, 10 out of 10. I would also rate it 10 out of 10 with the caveat that um, if you value your time, like it needs, it's about two hours of your time, and if it's your entire family, uh, it's two hours of everybody, everybody's time. Um, so I think that would just take that into consideration. Nothing is ever free, free. Just want to say um, this was a great uh, deal. You know, obviously having you know these three nights on a really busy weekend was yeah. was worth a lot, but um, it, it's never just free. <laughs> So our quality rating is a 7 out of 10. What you're getting for that's at the three nights, these are pretty nice accommodations. This is the Hilton Grand Vacations on the Las Vegas Strip. The rooms are nice. Um, the, I think it's nice to have a kitchen, um, to have uh, washer dryers. It's yeah. actually very helpful if, right. if you wanted to do laundry um, before going home. <laughs> yeah, we stayed in a one-bedroom suite. Uh, so there's certainly a separate living area and a kitchen and a, and a bedroom. It has a homey vibe. Definitely. Yeah, it has, yeah, a, it has a homey vibe. Yeah. yeah, the bad thing about it though is just it's further down the strip. Uh, there, you can't really walk anywhere. Walking down to the wind would take like 20 minutes. Uh, so the location is not uh, not great. Mm -hmm. uh, you're, you're closer to downtown Las Vegas. If that's where you like to go more, uh, that's fine. But we certainly prefer uh, to be closer to strip. So when you're booking this, you do have the option of also staying at the Alara, uh, but uh, this weekend the Alara was sold out, so we had to stay at the Hilton Grand uh, Las Vegas Strip. But um, if I was staying at the Alara, I think I would rate it higher. Uh, now we go into the vibe. The vibe. The vibe so the vibe of the timeshare presentation was generally pretty okay. You know, they they were snacks, water, you know, beverages available. Other than the burning your hand incident. Mm -hmm which, you know, won't happen to everyone. <laughs> Hope never happens to you. But um, I think vibe-wise, they were not overly pushy. They, uh, 
they were um, pretty nice about it. You know, they had, um, I think, very nice offices, you know, spaces for you to talk. Yeah. Um, and yeah, generally, I think it was it was okay for a timeshare, you know, presentation. Yeah. Yeah. For the vibe, we would give it a 7 out of 10. Yeah, give it a 7 out of 10, yeah. which is really high for a timeshare presentation. Definitely. Because I it's think I was expecting end. like a much lower, you know, I, I was expecting worse experience yeah. because I built myself up to that, <laughs> to, <laughs> to like getting ready to be yelled at. <laughs> she was expecting a lower than a five. Yeah, I was expecting like a two or a three. So yeah. seven is really quite high for yeah. for the vibe. Um, yeah, overall. Um, so for the three scores we have, you know, uh, ten to seven, seven. Uh, so for an average of a good, eight, eight. Our good deal score is yes. eight out of ten. Eight out of ten. Okay, everyone, thank you for joining us today on Good Deal Traveler. Uh, hopefully our experience will uh, make your experience better. If you like this, this kind of uh, content, uh, please give us a like and uh, we'll try to share more of our experience and give you some good tips on traveling.